What is up TCG Army, C-Money TCG here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing today. We've got a fun one, maybe a short one. I don't know, it depends how fast we get through these. We've got a couple Hidden Fates tins. I've got like five of these left. I'm slowly opening them, hoping so bad to pull another Charizard or a, a Umbreon or a Sylveon or something awesome uh, left out of these tins because we have not had the best of luck out of our reprint tins that we've gotten so far. We've got about five left, so we're going to be opening up two today, probably the last three in a later video. And then we've got a Champion's Path double box that uh, was sitting on the shelf at Walmart. No one claimed it, and it's very hard to get product, so we're still buying, <laughs> I guess, the Champion's Path when we can because we need product. But uh, we're going to open up those three things today. So if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss any awesome videos this weekend. We've got, uh, hopefully, I'm praying they come in. We should be opening up a couple Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Boxes, which will be really awesome. I'm really excited to dig into those, so hopefully those will come in and we can dig into some ETBs that we've never opened on this channel um so be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss that but let's get into it today uh we'll open up the double box first i'll throw the tens kind of over here just for the time being and we'll get into this thing um today let's see here we haven't really had any luck out of these double boxes either so um if you missed the last video go check it out we had a really, really cool mail day um, that's actually related to this with a shiny Charizard GX and among other things. So go check out last uh, the last video we had. Um, it, it was really cool. One of the best mail days I've had in a good while. Um, but yeah, let's get into some Champions Path. So we haven't had much luck with these double boxes, so uh, not expecting too much out of these but you know that's how it goes we could turn around and pull us the shiny charizard or something out of nowhere so you never know let's see what we can do today we got him a choke zigzagoon trubbish full heel sizzlipede purloin and a galarian obstagoon so uh about par to start off here actually it'd be about par if it was a champ but you know. there's your code card so hope you guys are doing well we will be announcing the winner of the uh, Viva Voltage Elite Trainer Box. That'll be announced this week. If you're looking for the winner of that, uh, probably Friday or Saturday we'll be announcing the winner of the Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. So make sure you are sticking around for that. Uh, I said either Friday or Saturday we'll be popping that off. So uh, those of you who have been asking about the winner of that when that'll be announced, it'll be at the end of this week. So coming up very soon, stick around. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, get a Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box in the hands of one of you guys. Roly Coley Vulpix and a Professor of Research with three hollows in a row out of this double box. We've got one pack left to make this double box turn around here. I knew I should have left this thing on the shelf. I knew it. I knew I should have left it on the shelf. Oh, whoa. Holy OC. Dear Lord. Okay, so the rare doesn't look like that, but holy OC cards. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, that's insane. Let me actually do the card trick again because I think I messed it up. But one, two, three, four. I wonder if the fronts look like that, too. That's crazy. All right. Oh, wait, that was the rare. Crap, I messed it up. Dang it. Well, we did, literally got nothing out of this, but where were those OC cards? Which ones were they? The fronts aren't jacked up. Hold up. So there's one and there's one. The fronts aren't messed up. Oh, we, oh, look at that. Yeah, they are. Check that out. You can see the bottom of the next card on the sheet. Holy OC. Man. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, you can literally on the front, they're so bad that you can see the top of the next card on the sheet. <laughs> we got cut. I'm going to sleeve those up and keep those. That's pretty cool. That's a really, really bad cut. It's pretty funny, though. All right, well, I'd like to see the rest of that sheet. There we go. <laughs> so, I mean, we didn't get a uh, any hits out of the box, but we got something cool at least. <laughs> at least we got the cool OC stuff. I mean, if you're not going to get hits, at least you get something, I guess. But uh, that's... Oh, wait, hold on. Is there... Oh, no. Okay, I, it was turned upside down. I was like, was there another one? That's it <laughs> for the Champions Path box. So nothing crazy at all, like literally nothing at all coming out of that box. Not a single hit, just a couple miscut cards. All right. 
Hidden Fates, don't let us down here. There's your Raichu promo, your code card. Don't let us down, Hidden Fates. Don't let us down. We get every pack art right there. Throw all that down there. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can't get us a nice shiny full art today. I said we just haven't had that much luck with the reprints, guys. Um, I'm wondering if the we're gonna have the same crappy luck with the ETBs. I sure hope not. I've never opened up an elite trainer box on this channel. But hopefully our luck will turn around today. Psyduck, Ergos Hospitality, <laughs> a Raichu GX out of a Raichu 10. There we go. One of my least favorite things, if you've been around here for a while, you know, is pulling the promo card out of a Hidden Fates 10, like of that 10. Like we got a Raichu GX promo and then the Raichu GX. I just, I hate that because it's like getting the same little card. I don't know. It, it just bothers me for some reason. All right. Yeah, I would love to pull like an Umbreon, a Sylveon, obviously a Charizard more than more so than anything, but I'd love just to get something really nice because we have not had that luck with these. I believe I got a golden, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, shiny Surviper and a Bill. We've got a bunch of baby shinies. I think I got like a golden Brooklet Hill or something, and that was like the best card of Guzma. Like those are the two best cards we've gotten up to this point. And we've opened up a lot of these Tims. But uh, I'm really excited to do the ETBs. I really am. I'm super stoked about that. You've been hearing me advertising it. I just, I've just i never opened up a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box on this channel. I've literally had one. Oh, Shiny Guzzlord. So literally the worst Shiny 4 art you can get. But it is a Shiny 4 art. So we can't complain too much. There we go. A Shiny 4 art Guzzlord has been pulled. But I, I've had a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box chilling on my shelf behind me literally since march um so i mean i've had one sitting there's taunting me and i think we are going to open that one because there is no distinguish like distinguishing features between the two so i'm gonna see what's been on my shelf since march and uh we may do a kind of a comparison between old and new i don't from what i understand there there's literally no difference between two so we're gonna open that up and see what's been on our shelf forever Unless I do some more research and find out you can tell the difference between them. Because I'd like to keep the older one kind of sealed if that is the case. But if there's no like no way to tell, then it doesn't really matter. So that was it in the Raichu 10. We did get three hits, so I can't complain. We did get hits out of three packs. It's nothing big. I'd rather one big hit than three tiny hits, you know what I mean? But uh, here we go. We have one more today. This is going to end up video but look how dented in this tin is this thing got the crap knocked out of it and shipping it looks like it didn't even want to come out there we go there is our charizard promo code guys all right and there are our pack arts we get all of them again this tin got the crap beat out of it so four more um see if we can't continue our luck we'll open up the charizard pack first See if we can't turn our luck around with all these tins we bought. I do have three more chilling over there on my shelf. They'll probably be opened up all at once in a later video. I haven't decided yet, but uh, we'll knock those out and see if we can't pull us uh, another jars. I'm trying to pull a fifth one on the channel. But uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Energy and Arbok. That'll be coming fairly soon. I don't know exactly when yet, but that'll be a fun video. We'll open up the last three. Here we are. We got three packs left. So like I said, this will probably be a shorter video today, at least comparatively speaking. But there is nothing wrong with that. Don't want to keep you guys here all day. I do appreciate all the time you guys put into watching my videos. And I hope you enjoy them. I try to make fun videos and fun openings for you guys. Uh, mail days, all that kind of stuff. So if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Would love to have you. Join our Discord and Facebook groups in the description below. There's a link for those. You can join the TCG Army community, get involved. We have a lot of fun in both groups, and I would love for you to be a part of it. That's a very dented Psyduck. I hope that the big car doesn't have that. Pikachu, Erica, and the birds. There they are. <laughs> Not a hidden fates opening if you don't have the birds at least once. There are is the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX that has to make its appearance at least once. There we go. One pack left today. One pack left to pull something good. So we do get the Guzzlord and the Baby Shiny, but 
Uh, just nothing crazy. We have not gotten any heavy hitters out of these. Like the most recent print run. I pulled a Mewtwo not too long ago, but those were from older 10, so... Um, it wasn't like it was this brand new one. We just haven't any luck out of this most recent one here. Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. Shiny Charmeleon, there we go. That's a good hit. That That's a good hit. That's not a full art shiny, but that's a good hit. And a Lapras, so there we go. We do come away with something nice. The Baby Shiny Charmeleon, the, uh, one of the, I guess the third best Baby Shiny you can pull. It's Charmander, Eevee, and Charmeleon are the best ones. This one's a little off-centered left to right, but there we go. Shiny Charmeleon. Was last time I checked was like twenty bucks. I'll have the current price on the screen, but uh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't know what it's currently worth, but it's always been. It's always held its value as one of the best baby shinies you can have by a mile. So still no Charizard. We get the Charmeleon, so we're getting closer. Um, like I said, guys, hold off until probably Friday or Saturday. We'll be announcing the winner of the Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Box. I am working out another giveaway, hopefully with my buddy Jared over at Canto Shark, fairly soon. Uh, more box breaks coming. So make sure you join the uh, Discord and Facebook. We got the box breaks coming. I believe we have Unified Minds coming up next. Um, and then I have hopefully have another big one lined up after that. So make sure you're joining those to be a part of those. Thank you guys so much for the support and watching my videos. It means the world to me. I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. Later.